there are fewer babies in the world. The demographic winter is here and it is going to get colder from here on. The global fertility rate is set to drop below the point needed to keep the population constant. And India, which is now the most populous country in the world, is also recording fertility rate below replacement and is projected to decline further. The Lancet study predicted that India's total fertility rate will decline to 1.29 by 2050 and 1.04 by 2100. 2100 is the furthest year out for which population projections have been made. This is already below the replacement rate. But what is TFR? What is replacement rate? What's behind the growth rate decline? And should India be worried? We get to the bottom of it. TFR or total fertility rate is the total number of children that would be born to a woman in her lifespan. This indicator helps policymakers and demographers to predict how a country or a region will change over a period of time, decide policies for population growth, plan the country or region's infrastructure policy, food crops policy, labor force policy and migration policy. Replacement rate or replacement level fertility is the level of fertility at which a population exactly replaces itself from one generation to the next. The total fertility rate of about 2.1 children per woman is called replacement level fertility. India's population is projected to peak by mid-2060s to nearly 1.7 billion people and will remain the most populous until beyond 2100. After surpassing China, which had begun to decline in size, India's population story was correlated with terms like population explosion. But the fact is, population growth in India has slowed down over the decades. India's TFR has sharply declined and is now lower than sub-Saharan countries and has also fallen below the world average. India's population doubled in the three decades after independence. But come 1980s, population growth started to slow down. And by the early 2020, India's population growth rate fell below the world average. Fertility rates begin to fall as nations progress and get richer, and women get better access to healthcare, education, and contraceptive choices. This is a global phenomenon. In India, women in rural areas have 2.1 children in their lifetime, while women in urban areas have 1.6 children. Both these numbers are lower than what they were 20 years ago. On an average, Indian women in urban areas have their first child one and a half years later than women in rural areas. While fertility rate is falling across India, the difference between states is substantial. Southern and western states in India are already below replacement level. Some urban areas have lower TFR than most developed countries. Professor Anjali Rarkar, head of the Centre for the Study of Social Exclusion and Inclusive Policy, points to another economical dimension. She said that intergenerational flow of wealth has reversed with development. India is still a young country. Half the country is still under the age of 28, while the world is at a median age of 30. But this population is going to age rapidly. As India will grow older, mortality rates will rise rapidly. With less babies being born and more old people dying, India's slowing population growth will come to a stop, much like what's happening today in China, Japan and South Korea. By the mid-2060s, India's population growth will turn negative and it will start to have fewer people every year. A greying society is a cause for concern. So policy makers need to start acting now and take lessons from Scandinavian countries like Sweden and Denmark that are supporting new families. How? The world's fertility rate 
has more than halved since 1950 from 4.8 children per child bearing person to 2.2. By 2100, this will decline to 1.6. South Asia will go from contributing about 25% of today's global births to just 7% by 2100. In 2050, just 49 countries will be with TFR above replacement rate, and by 2100, only six countries are expected to have TFR above the replacement rate. Will India be able to navigate its way through a declining population growth rate while being the most populous country in the world?